own salmon. No, that's not good. Salmon's vomiting all over the dance floor. What? Are you? Is he flirting with her? <gasps> She's a crush on Nisha, but she finds her very unattractive. I want to have a friend Robin because I... Oh. Okay, well. Welcome to another episode of the Chromatic Legacy Challenge Bubblegum. This is the second episode and I'm really excited today. We get to go to prom or, well, I'm calling it hom homecoming because they're freshmen in my head. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go to homecoming. I went ahead and gave all of the Sims pride outfits. Sorry, not pride. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I gave them all prom outfits. So this, I really like this dress and you'll see all of everybody else's prom outfits once we're there because they're all our prom dates um and in addition i also made it so she knew robin because obviously we don't have enough uh space on our club to have robin in it and robin's the sim that i made so i was like i don't know she doesn't have to be part of the club because i made her like it's not that big of a deal but i did want them to at least be friends and while i was in their household i noticed a couple of things uh, mainly that almost everybody saw her at, uh, saw Zinnia as either attractive or very attractive. So normally I want my Sims partners to be either very attracted or extremely attracted to my Sims and vice versa, just because it's like, it's nice to have. Um, and there was, most of them are, but there was a couple of them that was only attractive. I think that included Archie, Santos, and... Del Nasha or Delilah? I can't remember which one. Um, I think those are the people who only found her attractive. Everybody else was very attractive, except for Theo. Theo found her extremely attractive, which is like the attractiveness pop-up, like the, the fact that they get flirty when they're around the sim because they're perfect. So yeah, that's what I noticed. And then um, I also checked and the only people right now who have amazing compatibility with her are Robin and Elena. I also kind of completely forgot that we have to get the uh, feather collection completed and herbalism skill, even though I literally added that because I thought it would be like a fun twit. Hold. No way. That's the adoption agent. That's the girl from CPS. Uh-uh. We can't have you her. Uh, uh, this is scary. No, she has to go away. We can't have her walking around here. She'll see us. Oh, that's scary. Okay, come over here, Zinnia. We can't have her be seeing you. Okay, she's gone. She's gone. <laughs> that was slightly scary. I wonder if she was checking up on the place to see if Zinnia's here. Which, you know, Zinnia is here. So, <laughs> hopefully she didn't see us. And I also hope there's a little bit less chaos when it comes to Salmon. He was a menace last week. Um, but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, so yeah, I think that we might start the day, because it's Saturday, uh, with opening the vet clinic, because we have prom. I don't remember what time prom starts, and it normally doesn't show up on the calendar for some reason. Oh, it does. Okay. Seven. So we just have to close before seven, which I don't think should be a problem. Oh, we're tired. No, we're not. Hey, if I'm... I'm... Like, I'm starting the day right now, so I'm allowed to- I'm allowed to do that. <laughs> because I want to see if I can get an appointment with the uh, Youth Development Services, which I can't right now because it's not time yet. We're gonna open, because I want to open. And then so hopefully sometime we'll be able to do that, but Zinnia, you gotta be a little bit more professional than that, my dear. He's so pretty. Ugh. Oh, oh, here, we have a patient. We have to befriend more animals, so I might try to befriend Lady a little bit more. Okay, let's greet Malcolm now that we are friends with Lady, okay. Oh my gosh, Salmon! <laughs> Back at it again, it did not take that fast. And he's sick, wonderful, he'll be our next patient then. <laughs> 
So I'm kind of thinking that we're gonna have to get a dog soon, or at least, are there, is there like a cat trait that you can get to make it so cats can find feathers too? Because I, if I can, I might do that with get another cat too, because I, I mean, I'd love to have either a cat or a dog, to be honest. Nice. And then Malcolm, give me your money. A great tip would be appreciated, because I know you're real rich. Okay. Um, we didn't get much for that. Oh my gosh, Lady looks so different. Oh, she looks so sad. Okay, well, we're gonna do Salmon Quick first, because my boy is sickly. Oh, I love Salmon. He's so cute, but... He is quite the handful, isn't he? We only have 10 minutes. Okay. I'm really sorry, Bridget. I'm I'm so sorry. <laughs> but let's introduce ourselves to Lady. Oh, okay, we're going to prom. Okay, so it looks like everybody is here. Uh, I have only gone to prom like once and it was so glitchy because but it could have been because my computer was bad, so... Wow, the teacher's really boogieing down here. Like, this is fun, but I'm scared that it will go too fast. So let's talk to maybe Delilah since... Or Theo. Or Delilah. I don't know. We'll talk to everybody. We'll try. Anyway. Okay, show off outfit. Okay, let's show our outfit off to Delilah. Oh no! Salmon! Okay, okay buddy. Um, no, you can leave, right? Oh, Salmon, no, you're making me so sad right now, buddy. Okay, uh, so I'm so sorry, Salmon. I don't know how to get you out of here. You could just leave, but you- Oh, interesting. So, we do find Robin very attractive. I just making an observation. <laughs> um, so, in fact, my girl Zinnia He's not straight. Um, oh, she's so cute. <laughs> but I don't know if she even knows that. Like, I don't know if she can tell that that's what that means, you know? Because my girl's awkward and has no experience with anything ever. So, uh, right, we need to vote for prom royalty, which would be in here. I'm thinking, or I could see like Theo wanting to be. No, Theo would be Jester, I think. Let's vote for Nasha as royalty and Theo as jester. Because Theo's kind of a silly guy. Let's let's talk to our friend, uh, our best friend, actually. We should dance. Um, wow. Santos always has something on his phone he wants to show somebody. She's just sitting to the side looking like she's having a terrible time, which is honestly valid. That would be me if I uh, went to prom, so... Oh, no. Salmon! No! That's not good! Salmon's vomiting all over the dance floor! Oh, poor baby! I feel so bad for him. Okay, uh, ooh, let's feel the love. Because we have to do that for our aspiration, I think, at some point. Attention everybody, we have the results! Oh, cool! They're exactly who I voted for. I feel like they're always who you vote for. Like, I feel like if you vote for somebody, it guarantees their spot, but that's cool. Nobody is up here, though. Dude, what are you wearing? What are you even wearing? That's so ugly. Take a picture with the photo booth. Okay, who should we take a picture with? Take a friendly photo with... We really get along with Elena and Theo. Well, we're getting along with all of them actually pretty well, but um, I'm thinking we can take a, a funny one with Theo since he's Jester. Wait, what are you doing? You're just standing there? Okay. Uh, yeah, prom's so short, but... Aw, that's cute. I gained a sentiment. Okay. Be careful, Robin. You might, uh, need surgery on your arm after doing that. Um. Oh, wow. Theo looks absolutely ridiculous. It's okay, though. We had a good night, but nothing happened. Oh, uh, we can't invite any of the people I want to invite, so... We can, uh, let's invite Arnie, I guess. Because nobody is here. Robin and Ar Arnie are here. Uh, but nobody else is here, so it's okay. We can start a club gathering. Okay, so we'll control Robin tempor temporarily or not. Robin just left. <laughs> anyway, let's go over to the pier. Uh, let's go here together. 
Everybody's here. Uh, well, not everybody. Wow, this is very lame, I will say. Okay, they're making their way. Uh, can I, like, congratulate Theo? Wait, hold on, don't whisper about crush. We don't have a crush. Okay, can we stop fangirling over our friends and start doing anything else? Sully, do I? Sorry, he's funny. Theo is a dog lover. I knew that, but Zinnia didn't. Zinnia makes Chrome makes pet lovers the only place that I want to be. That sounds very weirdly flirty, but oh, okay, they just did a hip bump. We're just telling a story. It sounds like what? Are you? Is he flirting with her? Am I imagining that? Was that a flirt? It was a flirty inter- What? I mean, I'm not surprised. He finds her extremely attractive, but... I wasn't expecting him to flirt. I told you this early, but... Okay. Oh, you're actually feeling flirty about it. Oh, you already have- Ooh. I don't know how to feel about this, because he's, like, I'm, there's nothing, I don't find, it's fine, good even, but I'm just like, I don't know, it's really soon. I don't know, I'll see where it goes, I'm probably not gonna do any actual romantic interactions yet, just because I don't think she would do that. I do wonder what she thinks about Theo. Okay, um, that's really really awkward. What I think Zinnia would do. I'm looking at things from her perspective, right? She is very awkward and doesn't understand much about fitting in. So when like people are like, this is a normal thing you do, she's like, okay, then I have to do that thing. A normal thing you would do is flirt with somebody who flirts with you right? Actually, we're feeling horrible, so it might actually be a good idea to call it a night. But I'm definitely going to keep that in mind because I do think that she would, like, she likes him as a friend, like, a lot. She thinks he's really cool. She just doesn't understand the romantic aspect of it. She's like, well, okay. <laughs> and then she just, like, goes along with it. So, yeah, she's very much not sure. And I think that she's just gonna kind of go with what happens. So I think that's my... the way that she's gonna go about things. If he continues to flirt with her, she's probably going to flirt back, because she's not sure what else there is to do. We're gonna nap on the bench again. And then tomorrow we can work on the vet's winter, which is good since we don't have a house. That's really good. <laughs> I'm hoping... At some point, we can do the youth development services, but it won't let me. Oh, that's why. Okay, that, may, that checks out. Uh, let's grab what... I'm bad at counting. 17, I think, is what we need. Uh, a pound of value... Oh! Aww. That makes me feel really bad. Upon evaluation, Zinnia has been diagnosed with an eating disorder, bulimia. Okay, I'm gonna be putting a trigger warning at the beginning of this episode because I don't want to go into it too much because I don't want to get things wrong. I'm, I'm, I'll tr I mean, she's gonna have it, so it's, you know, I'm still gonna be doing things, but I'll put a trigger warning at the beginning of the video. I'll try to remember to do that. So bulimia have distorted views on self-image, a preoccupation with weight, looks, exercise, and generally suffering from negative body image and low self-esteem. They experience periods of binge, binge eating followed by purging are more prone to health and dental issues since spending time on fitness and wellness as well as self-help activities to help treat dis the disorder. Oh, okay. I don't know what to do because she doesn't have any money. So I'm thinking we won't be able to go to therapy, but we're going to need to get some medication. I don't really know what to do with that information because it's it's pretty sad. <laughs> um, such a tough thing to go through, and I'm really sad that Zinni has to go through it. Oh, Sam is sleeping in his box. I was gonna play with him, but I feel bad for playing with him when he's sleeping in his box. And I'm so proud of you, buddy. You've only done something naughty once this episode. What I might do is she'll just be stinky and we'll open 
the clinic so then we can get some money maybe we can buy a shower that'd be kind of cool if we could have you know the basic necessities cc is so cute oh what a cute little dog i like chihuahuas a lot no salmon delilah wants to be best friends okay salmon get out of the bush salmon i know he's in there i saw him jump in he's gonna get sprayed by a skunk again oh just one thing uh probably a skin inspection then right because there's fleas yeah i am a genius gwen do you want to talk a little bit gwen hey hey yeah don't yell at my cat what's your problem okay let's get the shot she needs and then bam bang oh yay two stars let's close the vet clinic the stress level was fine you're being dramatic let's fertilize the bush and then uh let's see if we can build a little shower um i was thinking we could just get a singular wall and then put like the shower from university or something on it and then we'll just continue to save up money to get an actual house Hopefully nobody's around to see this, cause... And then, you know what we should do? We should actually get a sleeping bag, because I think a sleeping bag could be slightly better than the bench. We could just get this trash mattress on the ground. You know, my bed was a mattress on the floor for a while. I never complained about it, so I just had it for quite a while. And, uh... That was just the way that I was when I was a kid. Could I get a wall, at least, to just, like, cover... And we'll probably put the shower right here. Wonderful. Let's sleep on our new mattress. It is a piece of garbage, but it's a mattress. Oh dear. Can you scoot over a little bit? That looks wildly uncomfortable. Ugh, Salmon. <laughs> salmon has defeated a wild squirrel in Pot of Combat. Good for you, Salmon. Honestly, you gotta be joking. In the span of 30 minutes, you- you attacked- What are you doing? Two squirrels? I don't think he got sick from the second time, but no. You cannot be doing it again. You were doing something in there. I saw you. Oh, I forgot we have school! <gasps> Fun! I forgot <laughs> that we are a student. And we probably are going to need to get breakfast at school. Oh, great. Salmon's pooping. We'll give him some privacy. Oh. Uh, we have bills, which I actually... Here's, here's the thing. Here's the funny thing about bills. You don't get... You only get them on your home lot, and if your bills get shut off for your home lot, your vet still is fine, and you don't have to pay them. So, is that like a super cheat yeah but also uh zinnia doesn't own this lot legally <laughs> she just is here and nobody else is using it so she's using it so i don't quite think that we would even have bills so i guess it makes sense although that would make it illegal to run a vet clinic on this lot but also as i said in the first episode i don't care it's illegal for a teenager to be running a Vic clinic on a lot that is not legally purchased. I couldn't care less. Okay, we are at school, but for now I'm gonna see if we can get, you know what, you can get like an apple at your locker. That can be our breakfast. We can just like spawn a free apple at our locker. Oh yay! Everybody's here! Oh, I'm so glad the mod worked. Okay, that's really good. Okay, I think they're gonna all be in our class. I hope so anyway. Oh, this is so good. I'm so happy that it's working. Okay, I was thinking we could just get a cream snack cake. Slay, she's late. It's fine. Everybody else is too, it looks like. Where is everybody? Not even the teacher is here. Okay, well, it's lunchtime, so we should probably get something to eat for lunch. Um, hold on, hold, hold the phone. Our cream snack cake is here from when we ordered it. Looks like Archie is sitting over here, next to where we sat last time. So maybe this is like our designated spot. So like everybody who sits by us is gonna sit by us. So we can be by Archie. What you, where are you going? No way you're about to just stand in the corner and eat that. No, okay. I don't know what she's doing. Oh, 
You're going to talk to this guy. Oh, hi, Theo. Let's give Theo a hug. I feel like she's very uh, a very huggy person. Okay, let's stop talking to Mr. Ty. Uh, and start talking to people our own age. Oh, okay, look. Uh, Robin and Elena are uh, sitting... How dare you, Santos? Actually, this is my spot. <laughs> okay, whatever. I'll sit where this girl was sitting. And then Elena's leaving, so I guess we'll talk to... Never mind! Okay, everybody's leaving and everybody's staying at the same time. That's... It's really confusing how many times people sit down. Because everybody keeps sitting where I want to go. We'll be eating that senior lunch. Don't you worry, we will. Oh, sweet! Everybody isn't going to class. Oh no! I'm sorry, Nisha. <laughs> Here, do you want me to... Okay, I can't right now. Uh, everybody's on their phones, and that's probably because the teacher isn't here. So, that's really cool and really awkward. Because <laughs> where's the teacher? And why... Okay, the teacher's in here. That's really normal. That's a really normal thing to happen. Okay, uh, Zinnia impressed her teachers. Her teachers who were not in the classroom. Let's talk to... Uh, we... I feel bad because Robin, we, we didn't get... We, is not in our club, so it's like... Gossip about classmate. Wait, don't do that. Oh. What? I'm comfortable about a nearby crush? Zinnia, you have a crush? Hold on. Okay, yeah, it's not on Theo. Dang, I'm assuming... It's one of these guys. <gasps> She's a crush on Nisha, but she finds her very unattractive. Which is weird. But she has a crush on Nisha. That's really interesting. I don't really know. I don't know. It's just bugging me that she finds her very unattractive, but also has a crush. Let's talk to her more then. She's walking funny. <laughs> uh, and this is about cats, because, you know. You know, we do, we do love cats. So she's got a, like, a flirty relationship going on with Theo, but she actually finds him very unattractive. And then she finds Nisha unattractive too, but she's got a crush on her. So I really don't understand what's going on. Okay, so we're probably gonna, probably gonna head home. Another best friend. Sure, Archie. Although I don't think we're close enough to be best friends. Sure. Tell her about your crush. You should tell Elena about your crush. I mean, Archie too, I guess now. Because they're your best friend. What if she was like, you are my favorite friend, Elena? Because like, she was the first best friend. I feel like Elena might be our favorite best friend right now. Out of the three we have, which is uh, Delilah and Elena and Archie, we do like Elena best. I want to befriend Robin because Oh. Okay, well. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> right now, Zinnia is crushing on two of her friends. Robin, who she has amazing compatibility with and finds very attractive, and where is she? Nisha, who she finds unattractive, very unattractive, and uh, they have good compatibility. So those are our two crushes right now, and then we're romantically involved already in Theo, because he, um, he flirted with us, and she was like, you know, that's a normal thing to do, so we're gonna go with that. Okay, it's definitely time to head home, but that is, wow. <laughs> I really don't know what to say about that, because I'm, I'm like, I'm trying to figure out where to go from here, because I like all three of them a lot, but she doesn't like all three of them a lot. <laughs> Right now, I can definitely see that she likes Robin the most. Although, they don't like... Robin's like a loner, so she's like not very socially interested in talking to Zinnia at the moment. But their relationship is gaining slowly, so... No, Salmon, I know where you're going. Stop it. Ugh. Salmon. Stop it! Stop it! You disgusting little fiend! And I'm so happy, buddy. We've only done something naughty once this episode. 
Her energy is good enough to the point where I am kind of thinking that she should uh, open the vet clinic really quickly just for the next like hour or two so uh, we can get some moolah because I need some more moolah and hopefully we can also start befriending some more pets. Yay! Okay, we got another pet friend. Okay, let's... Um, do we have to greet her impatiently? Can we just... Yeah, okay. <laughs> you know what? I think that this cat was bitten by a squirrel. Can I... Can I make that guess? What if I... What if I make that guess? What, what would happen? If I treated it? before I should. Oh my god, salmon! Okay, we have to get rid of the bush. The moment we can get a toilet, we're getting rid of the bush, because the bush is making salmon go nuts. <laughs> oh, it's not the feel-good serum. Okay, I'm glad I didn't get to do that then. <sighs> Whatever, we'll go. <laughs> sorry, cat. I don't really know what to do about that. Uh, sorry. Oh, she wants to chat with her crush, which is Robin in this case. She has two crushes, but Robin's the one that she wants to say hi to. So you can, uh, you know, whisk, risk. Oh, I forgot that I made Kyle Kyleson the teacher. Sususususul! Are you saying that because, like, she's your crush? Why is she flirty? Why are you flirty, Robin? I'm, I'm curious. Why are you flirty, Robin? Because you don't have a crush on me, which is like a little bit sad, but no, wait, no, no, don't do that. As I said, I don't think she realizes that what she has is romantic. I think she's just like, I just like want to be, I just want to be friends with her so bad. <laughs> you know what I mean? She's like, I want to be friends with this girl more than like anything i just want to be friends with her she's so pretty and i want to be friends with her and it's like girl you want to give her a little kiss we'll talk to her until uh class starts cute oh they're so cute whisper about crush on nasha confess daydream okay are these i'm confused if these are for her or for nasha because like I don't know if I wanted to either, to be honest, just because telling one crush about the other crush is kind of weird. And like, some people do that to like, make people jealous, but that is not something that Zania would do. Zania was starting to doze off when another student passes her a note and points at another student. Zania didn't even know passing notes was still a thing in social media and phones. Does Zania continue the note chain or maybe add some changes to the note? Here's the thing. Her only classmates are her friends, so I would assume that it was a friend's note. However, she would definitely not add some changes because that's she's just like too nervous, you know? Um, she probably thinks that they like don't like her very much. Yeah, I was gonna say the teacher probably would catch her. Sure, Robin. She would be like way too enthusiastic about it too. She'd be like, oh, you wanna be best friends with me? I mean, sure, that'd be so cool. I'm totally not gonna freak out later because you think I'm cool. Is it like a girls code thing where like they go into the bathroom together because they're like, you know, scary to go alone or something? <laughs> I think that she might have a little bit more of a crush on Robin. I mean, she does have a crush on Nisha, so I don't want to discredit that, but uh, the fact that she doesn't like her, uh, doesn't think she's attractive, is like slightly something that's making me not want to do it. Let's get uh, rainbow brownies because we're feeling very rainbow today. <laughs> We're feeling very rainbow today. We should probably sit somewhere where multiple of our friends are, but they're, every friend is sitting at a different table. Uh, oh, okay. She naturally went over to sit with Robin, which, you know. Oh, she still has this from the other day. Okay, eat the snack. Please keep yourself sitting here. Never mind, don't eat that. Hold on, don't eat that. Don't, don't eat it. Don't. It's stinky, don't eat that. <gasps> She's eating it. Uh. Um. No, thank you. <laughs> okay. That's a weird thing to say, my dude. Okay, let's not eat the thing that... Okay. Uh. No. I'm not doing that. 
I I'm I like refuse to make my sim do that. If she does it herself, I'll I'll let her because it's like actually part of her disorder, but I I'm not feeling it. I want to go home and like do something, but I also want to go, you know, what we should do we should go to the park. Everyone is coming with you, Slay. Uh, I don't really know. There's not much to do here. Uh, maybe we can just like sit and chat with our, our crew. Um, let's sit together. Not everybody's gonna be able to sit, but hopefully they'll stand around. Let's go, gang! I love our little gang. Or, well, it's not very little, is it? Okay, we're sitting with Robin and Theo, pretty much. Uh, let's say hi to Theo. We haven't talked to him very much today. Share past traumas. How about we don't do that? <laughs> Um, I mean, at some point you could. You know, that's a vulnerable conversation to have, but at some point you could talk about it. Uh, let's talk to Santos. Share some photos with him, since he's always sharing photos with us. Oh! Sure, Nisha. Sure. Okay, yeah, everybody is our best friend, pretty much. Uh, <laughs> almost everybody is our best friend at this point. I'm not seeing any pets around here, which is disappointing, because I wanted to find a stray, but I'm not seeing any stray animals. Oh, who was it that wanted to stargaze? Was that Elena? I think it was. Elena, do you want to stargaze? Because I remember, um, she had, Elena had a whim when I was in their household to stargaze with Zinnia. So I was like, that would actually be a cute thing for them to do. <laughs> ah! What? <laughs> okay. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> They're in sync. Okay, I think we're gonna head home because we kind of have awful needs right now. As much as Salmon is honestly a little uh, jerkwad, um, I do love him a great deal. Look, at, he's smiling. Oh, they are just so cute. I love these two. Oh, he's sleeping next to her. Oh, I love them so much. No, Salmon. I know what you're doing. Okay. It's Winterfest! Oh, cool. Okay, we're gonna end... Uh, we're gonna end the episode with Winterfest, probably. Um, and then we're probably gonna wrap things up. Okay, let's open, and we'll just, like... Let's treat some patients. Okay, she's getting really hungry, so... Mmm... What I might do is... Okay, so I had to put a roof over our heads because we could not... Uh, afford like anything else and we had to get a meal yeah we can't cook a grand meal but we can get uh, chips come on girl you need to greet the patient not shower no they left darn it that's not good okay no it's already 6 p.m. we have to close I guess we should have a friend gathering then we can't really do much of any of these things other than the gifts which I don't think we have enough money to even get a small gift box, but we can try. So this is all we can afford, which is definitely not enough for all of us, but we can add a couple presents. And then I think it will get bigger. Okay, and now let's open presents with... Everybody's here. Wonderful. Who's cleaning up? Nisha! Nisha keeps cleaning up. Everybody's doing... Okay, guys. So, you know how I said that um, it matters who uh, Salmon gets along with? Um, Theo is the first person to interact with Salmon. So, I think I will be taking that into a lot of consideration. And here's the rest of them. Opening presents. Robin's opening a present. It is... They might have done like a secret Santa kind of thing, so they all get one. Okay, Salmon doesn't like Delilah. I think that kind of... That, that hurts your reputation a lot. Okay, everybody's introducing themselves. 
Archie's trying, but Salmon doesn't like Archie. Now Delilah and Santos are opening gifts. Um, <laughs> I love how excited Aliana is about getting gifts. I hope everybody got one. I don't, I don't know who got presents. Okay, and they're interacting even more, and Salmon's liking him even more, which, I don't know, that means a lot for me. Okay, Nisha's getting a present. Hopefully she likes it. I think she does. I think that's a good reaction. Oh, everybody seems so happy. Okay, Ali Elena is opening a present now. I think everybody's enjoying their gifts. Okay, now it's Aliana's turn. Cool, I think everybody's really enjoying their gifts. And oh, we're talking to Robin. Hold on, what did we get? Like, um, we got something that's in here? Oh, hold on. Where did we get this from? That's weird, but... Oh, that's a good amount of money. Okay, we have all these vet things. And this is what we got. Whoever gave us that probably didn't know us very well because we don't really have a place to put that. That's not good. Oh, Father Winter, Father Winter, Father Winter is here. And he's yelling at Salmon. Why are you doing that, sir? Give relationship advice to Father Winter. Yeah. And then ask for presents? We should we should ask him for We deserve one. I completely think we deserve a Winter Fuzz present. Yay! Okay, Father Winter gifted us a present. If it's something bad, that's gonna be sad, but... What was it? A sapphire? Eighteen... Eighteen dollars for a freaking sapphire? That's insane. Oh, Archie! Archie! Uh... Hi! Aw! Salmon's sitting next to him. Maybe he's apologizing for not liking him? I don't know. <laughs> what you doing, Nisha? You and... Oh no! Okay. Okay, Salmon likes Nisha as well. I'm just looking at what everybody's doing. Oh! Theo? What are you doing? Is he flirting again? Because that was definitely an embrace, a romantic hug. Oh, Father Winter's stood again. Huh? What? 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 That's possible? I thought you were Sim was the only one who could initiate, but apparently... Okay. I don't love that Father Winter was literally in the way. Oh! Okay. Okay, we are going for it. Zinnia's going for it. Okay. Um I think it's really I think it's really time for everybody to go home. Okay, finally everybody is going home. So I don't I don't know quite how to unpack what happened with Theo. Um I think again, she just is going with it. She doesn't find him attractive, she doesn't have a crush on him or anything. She just is a... she's just going with it. She's um, going... feeling flirty from having a crush. Oh! That's like really not good because Theo's not the one that she has a crush on. So it's not like... it's, it's not great that uh, she's swooning over somebody else from the person that she kissed. I wasn't expecting to do that for the second episode, I will say. I wasn't expecting any romance for this episode. I think Zinni is freaking out a little bit for different reasons. She's freaking out because she does have, like, she can't, she doesn't understand what's going on with her feelings for both Robin and Nasha. And also she's just confused because she, you know, she kissed Theo and she's like, Huh? <laughs> like, what's the... What am I doing with my life? What is... Like, why... What do I do next, I guess? And it's kind of a question... Oh, hi, Salmon. <laughs> I love this guy. It's kind of the question that I have for you guys, too. What do you think that we should do next? Because um, I need your help, and I don't quite know where to go from here with their relationship. Still haven't gotten very far in the 
like challenge part of the challenge, but hey, we're, we're slowly but surely, right? So that being said, I'm probably gonna end the video here with these two sleeping together like the cute little companions that they are. I'm gonna head off. Thank you for watching and hit all the buttons that you need to and goodbye.